Welcome back on Dynamod. Today I want to make you see how much you can magnetize the Space Marines. Here are normal models of Space Marines, uh, an assault uh, uh, Space Marine, a veteran Space Marine, and a tactic Space Marine. So, how much you can modify and uh, how much you can magnetize them. Here I want to make you see. And so, one, two, three, four. You can ask me why I magnetize so much the models. And uh, my answer is first, if I have an assault one, I can move from the one moving as infantry to the one moving with a jetpack. If you have a one uh, uh, in plastic ones uh, here, up the bottom that you, there is here, so here in the in this square part, uh, there is a space for a two for two millimeter cylinder one magnet. So I suggest you to put a two for two millimeter ones because uh, it's more comfortable than the other magnet here, just upside, uh, so that you put the magnet uh, up uh, to correspond to the hill here. So you have uh, a more strong uh, way to put. If you have a plastic one, a two for two millimeter one in each part, uh, it's enough. If you have a white metal one, I suggest you to do the same, but simply not to take from here, because uh, the metal is too heavy and it will detach. So you can do the, this part, but anyway, it's only a changeable. It's not something that you can use uh, to take and move the model. About the, this part and this part, it's the same that I made for the Terminator. I see if you are interested the video how I done the schedule here. And uh, why I did so? Cause, uh, so I can change the weapons. Because uh, there are weapons that I simply don't use quite often. So it's useless to have uh, a model that uh, you made uh, maybe some base, specific base that you like. And then you can't use because uh, Maybe because you don't use a hand flame flower, so or because uh, maybe or maybe because you have a specific weapon and not the usual weapon, so it's a pity. And another thing, it's because you can change from here the head, because uh, maybe a model like uh, for example uh, a tactical one, maybe because you want to do a specific weapon, but. Uh, you don't uh, want to create uh, multiple units so maybe you have only two or three and uh, uh, maybe you have a laser or you have a plasma and you want to, to use uh, sometimes uh, or a missile launcher and you want to use uh, sometimes uh, like a, a tactical or maybe a veteran or maybe a devastator squad one so here you can change the head the principle is the same you make a hole inside mm -hmm. here using a 2 for 2 millimeter one and in the head another one we remember always to keep attention to the direction of the magnet so i'll put a, again a schedule here so that you can refer to the tip and tricks that it's fundamental for this thing so remember and for the tactical ones here there is a problem why because uh, here, for example, there is the back that uh, it's uh, connected. So it's a pity to have a separate part. Uh, it doesn't suit good. Uh, you risk to move and so on. So I did the same that I prepared for the single uh, uh, arms and the single back. Only that uh, I made it and then I glued this part. I made so that uh, uh, this part it's uh, quite flexible so I can put on without too much effort and put it uh, on. I can for example uh, put also here that it's a veteran 
OK. I put out the things. I take off this part. And uh, voila. Here the only limit uh, is the position of the legs that uh, can hinder the, um, the model. But anyway, you can see it's quite comfortable anyway, so it's not a problem to put on. It's only the legs that uh, you have to pay attention because uh, the legs can hinder the, um, the weapon only it. And also here for the veteran, for example here I wanted to have a, a combi thermic one and um, a bolt pistol. But maybe I don't want a bolt pistol, I want uh, a normal uh, weapon. Here there is. Here it's a problem because the position of the weapon is practical, but anyway, here it is. So you can change. Also here you want to use this as a, a sergeant of the tactical one. So here you have only put it, it on. So there is no problem at all. You want to make it the assault one? You have. You want to make it the jump pack one? So you can have uh, you can have only to paint the model that you need and uh, the rest it's okay. If you use the scud iconography and so on, maybe you are a bit limited. But anyway, you can change anyway something. For example, I know someone that monetizes all, all the upper part of the model, but I don't suggest it because um, it's quite uncomfortable to move then. So anyway, you can see that uh, it's anyway quite. Um, quite comfortable, uh, it lets you really uh, do a lot of different things uh, without any problem and so on, so you can really change. For example, I don't like uh, a lot uh, to have the, um, uh, the head without helmet, but uh, for example for some model it's sweet, really perfect, so it's a pity not to use. So why not? Or you have some special model that you wanted to reuse for some things and so on. So I think that it's a, a quite good thing to do, uh, to keep uh, changing and so on. So you have to, in some way, you don't have to throw or you can reutilize some models and you have to buy less models. And uh, you can use uh, whatever you want and you can also use better the weapons, uh, the different arms that you find in the in the sprues that you buy. So I hope that uh, this little thing it's uh, something that you can like. For example, here I used the, the weapon. It's, this is a heavy frame thrower from uh, a tactical box but this is a frame thrower heavy frame thrower from a terminator once and it's interchangeable so sometimes maybe you have some weapon that you like a lot that you painted quite good and you want to, re to reuse and you can do you only need to be prepared and uh, sometimes uh, you are hindered from some models but uh, not often so and moreover for example if you want a sergeant to become a normal model you can do only changing the the arm and uh, it's the the shoulder pack you can have fix so you only change the arm it's uh, nothing particular worse i hope that you like this video I invite you to ring the bell, to put a like on the video and to comment, uh, to suggest me if you want to see something else uh, or you are interested in, the, in something, if you have suggestions or so. From Dynamo Mode, it's everything. To the next time.